Early to bed, early to rise, and we are up early this morning. It's 6 a.m. We're nice and rested. And uh, yeah, we've got stuff to do today. Last episode, we cleared the block in front of us and we are moving forward. I want to get started early the... Uh, what the... Why is there a chair on my train? I have no idea where that came from. Early access game. Yay for the chair. Can't pick it up or anything, but it's there. Can I, can I like push it off? Yeah, get off my train, man. Where did you come from? People are sneaking stuff onto my train. Anyway, welcome in everybody. Uh, before we get started, thanks for stopping by, man. I really appreciate it. I just want to plug my Discord community real quick. We've got a small gaming Discord. Uh, we run Minecraft servers and quite a few other things. So today I just want to plug that. The URL is in the description. And, uh, you know, if you guys like to play Minecraft and other type of uh, Steam servers like Conan Exile and stuff, hey, man, we've always got room and we're doing TNP Limitless 5 right now. So anyway, let's go on and get started. Um, we have... Activate our engine, let the brake go, and go on and give it some thrust. Uh, baby, you know you always gotta have some thrust. <laughs> anyway, we, yep, we are on our way, ladies and gentlemen. I am really excited. One of the things that I want to get done today also, hi there, buddy, how you doing? Uh, one of these, one of the things that I want to get done today also, even if we find like a large city, or a large town um we've got a ton of material and i want to do a bunch of building i have an idea for the second floor of the second car i would like to do it into a farm storage and crafting area i'd like to do furniture in our bedroom and work on some stuff downstairs got some really neat ideas this is one thing that I will say about this game is this this game has really pretty landscape. Anyway, guys, I will see you whenever we get to where we're going. So we passed the loading screen into the new area quite a while ago, and um, we're still going. We're going over this bridge. I don't see anything up ahead been like paranoid like looking on the beaches and stuff thinking i was missing something or a poi really beautiful area we're in too though another thing that has occurred to me as we've been going down through here and seeing all these beaches is i don't see any sand in fact i haven't seen any sand since that first beach so that means we're really, really lucky that I'm a loot fiend and decided to get all that sand. Well, that's a good tip for you if you're going to play through this. Make sure and stop at the beach and get some sand. So it looks like we may finally have something that looks... Yeah, that's a road right there. That's a crossing of... Oh, hi there, big boy. I tell you what. I tell you what, take that right there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's back up. Back her up, boys. Mind the mess. Clean up on aisle three. All right, put that back in uh, forward and do the thrust to zero because I will forget and be a muppet and send the train off by myself. Uh, okay. So we have two directions. This seems like the easiest one first either, buddy. Sorry, man. I did want to try out my new rifle, but you know, you guys are bullet sponges. So, ah, I do get a chance to try out my new rifle. Come here, buddy. Oh, that feels good. Good and meaty. All right, so what do we got here? Oh, some painkillers. A wrap? Is it interactable? Is it just decoration? Is it meant... 
Is that right there? You guys may not be able to see it because of the YouTube encoding, because I can barely see it, but I think that's a tent. Um, can I swim without drowning? Uh, I hope so. Okay, I think we're safe. Um, so I have been watching my stamina dropping at an alarming rate. I'm not sure what it was before I swam over, but I need to make sure and have a full stamina bar before I try that again. Um, nobody? Any Zambinos? Let's run around and check out the island real quick. All right, so a quick circuit of the island revealed nothing, but I play RPGs and, you know, this is usually the distraction and then there's some little side loot off to the side. Uh, so we have a note and a bandage. These all look like props. Doesn't look like I can pick anything up or interact with anything. Anything on the newspaper? I uh, can't read anything, but maybe the name and, like, opinion or something on it. Doesn't look like there's anything interactable in here either. All right, so obviously we're meant to read the note. My name is Martin. I am the only survivor of the plane crash. Due to a leg injury, I cannot follow the paths to the nearest settlements and have to survive on this island. So I'm assuming that other path goes to the nearest settlement. To get food, I have to visit the plane, but many of the victims have turned into zombies and roam in or around the plane, which makes it more difficult to search it. Hell, I've never kept a diary, but I'm getting worse and want to at least leave a story about myself. So, where's the plane crash? It's obviously not on this island, but if he had a broken leg, how did he get here? Or did he break his leg after he got here? Um, okay, well, whatever. I don't I don't quite understand part of that story, but that's good. Let's get back to the train. Mm, I'm trying not to get distracted, but it's only 11, and now I'm intrigued about this plane crash. All right, let's go check it out real quick, just down here. Well... There's the answer to my question. So did he like... I'm con... Did he fall out of the airplane? <laughs> Just wondering how he ended up on the island. And why. And as far as I can tell, that's all the zombies that are on the outside. Wasn't that many? Got this stuff. Uh, got some bandages and stuff. Never hurts. Never hurts. I mean, we're kind of truly... Oh, uh, yeah. All right, let's get our light on. This is going to be messed up, isn't it? I have to go in every one of these frickin' compartments, I think. Uh, all of those are empty. Oh, it's one big, I thought it was separate uh, containers, but it is not. All right, so that's that. Oh! I really don't want to have my assault rifle out. It's probably not the best thing. Hmm, that's not good. He's like... 
weirdly, weirdly stuck. Um, I don't think I can get him. He messed me up pretty bad, too. Okay, I stepped through the door. There was a the thing. There was a zombie. Oh, is it? Ow. Ow. Close quarters combat bullshit ain't... <laughs> ain't working today. Oh. Way too tight in here. I... Probably should have brought the shotgun. Ah, damn it. Alright. Grab that. You know, at least they're being nice and giving me a first aid. A full one. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nope, 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 nope. Jeez, die, man. Ouch. Not good. I'm trapped in a train. I mean, in a plane with a whole bunch of zombies. Freaking carpet of zombies down here. Oh my gosh. All right, I think that was all of them down here. Ah, nope. Get back. Man, I'm gonna be addicted to opiates by the time I get out of here. Oh, man. Not anything that's in them. Oh, all right. Oh, that's one big one. I'm really not even looking at stuff. I hear you. I don't know where you're at, but I hear you. I'm trying to look through the curtains. See if I can see anybody. First class. All right, we're getting up to the cockpit. See any zombies through the curtain, but that means absolutely nothing. I don't know if I can shoot through the curtains or not. No, if that's actually working. I thought I saw some blood when I hit her. Anyway. Best not to rely on it. And I don't see anybody. Nope, nope, I heard it. Yep. Nope, nope, not today, buddy. I'm a little bit too on edge for that. Oh, I'm not too on edge for that, obviously. It's 
still hear somebody? Oh, it's a puker. Well, good time to... Yep, I can hit her through the curtain. I did see her twitch. I think I killed her. I think I pegged her. Oh, that was a good pill right there. Nope. Nope. I heard him. Yeah, there's more in there. That sounds like a runner. All right, we're just going to have to go up here and find him. Okay, it looks like we have another one stuck in the wall. Oh, I actually killed this one. Oh, nope, 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 whatever that was. <laughs> I think the noise is from the one downstairs. But apparently, if you can get a bead on him, even inside... Oh, shit, never mind. Oh, he played dead, you sneaky git. Oh, oh, it's Super Runner. <laughs> okay, now I see why they gave us first aid and, 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 and all that stuff. I swear to God, I thought he was dead. I thought I pegged him through the freaking, uh, the door and he was dead. Oh, shit. Reload. Get up the stairs. Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> Better than I thought it would go. This must be like maybe... I don't know. Hard to tell. Maybe... Maybe this was first class seating on the first floor and all this is piled up and it's got everything blocked off. That's why you have to go up and over. All right, I think we've got everything here. Oh, shit! Of course, of course there would be the pilot and the co-pilot. Of course there would. Now that my heart is in a better shape. So what all did we get? <sighs> really nothing. Like uh, some bandages. A little bit of food. But definitely not worth all that that we went through. Um, let me make one more pass through the plane real quick. Now that I know this dude's just in a room locked in there, I went on and got him out. Um, well, yeah, that appears to be it. Um, yeah, loot-wise, fairly disappointing, I guess. Maybe experience-wise, it was okay. We got a level. What time is it? Uh, it's 429. All right, let's go on and get back to the train. Uh, we got a long way to go. And we've still got building to do today. So I'll see you back at the train. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back to the train. It's actually fairly late. It's five o'clock. It's getting night. We're hungry. We're thirsty. Uh, you know what? We'll go on and eat some of and drink some of the stuff that we found. So uh, I am going to go on and go to sleep after we drink and eat and basically put everything up. 
That way, we're fresh. Don't have to worry about sleeping or anything else. And then we're going to get up early in the morning and we're going to start building on our train. All right. Seven o'clock in the morning. You know, <laughs> the sleep doesn't work like, like it's supposed to. So I went to bed at 5 p.m. and told it I wanted to sleep 12 hours. And yeah, it's 714. It doesn't matter, but I just find it funny. Anyway, so the idea is, is that I want to build a second car. We're going to use this. I mean, I want to build a second story. We're going to use this car, I believe. Simply because I've already got the, the roof laid down in here. Uh, and we're going to have to do some work on that. I'll talk about that in a minute. But... So while, let's go on and get our tools and get everything set up. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is disassemble these back two roofs because I found something neat that I want to use. So let's go on and put a floor staircase back here. Do that. And then we'll put just a regular floor here. All right, then we're going to go to wall. What is it? Stairs. And there's ladder and storage and ladder and storage short. Uh, this is a short version. Um, kind of like the short version, but basically that's what we're going to do. It's going to go right there. And look at this. We got us a nice little staircase. With a closet with some storage. Isn't that freaking cool? I like that. All right. And this looks like it's not going to be that that much of a problem. I know that, the, you know, in stairs are a problem in some games. This one, it doesn't seem to be one. And then we're going to pick up our bed. We're going to stick it in the corner. All right. Now we want to do some walls up here. And instead of panoramic windows, I was looking and we have wall wide window, which... I think I may replace. Now, the panoramic windows are cheaper as far as wood. They're only four wood while these are six. And I admit that's a considerable amount of wood. Um, that's what? Four, eight, ten. Um, so that's like 20 additional wood over... Uh, the panoramic window, but, you know, oh, and this is really difficult for some reason to put stuff. All right, there are our walls. We are going to take a look at some actual roofing now. And there's a roof rainwater collector and you can build a rainwater collection barrel. So we're going to put that there. And then we're going to put a regular roof here and here. And then we're going to do a roof window here. All right, now we are definitely going to need some glass. A little bit of plastic. Grab a few electrical tools and a little bit more scrap. broke my branch, so I need to make a new one. And look at that right there, ladies and gentlemen. Nice little panoramic window to look out when we're traveling. Might just put the, the train in low gear and take our time. 
nice wide windows to look out of where we can see all of our enemies and our dust in the background. I like it. I like it. We still got stuff to do, but I like it so far. All right, room is done. Let's start moving a few things upstairs. Now let's build us a rainwater tank now that we have our rainwater collection roof. Put our charcoal right beside it. Got us a nice little way to come up here. Nothing's really in the way. Got our carpenter bench, weapons work, engineer, everything up here. Let's start moving storage. Ooh, all right. So all of this has been cleared out. All of this has been cleared out except for my bed. I put the single uh, storage down here and I've got meds in it. Uh, the closet is guns and money because, you know, those always go together. And sand and fuel and records and notes. It's, a, it's an under the stairs typical closet is what it is. <laughs> Um, we've got our furnace, our uh, rainwater collection. Uh, there's no dirty water in there yet. Looks like uh, we got to wait on it to actually rain. It's not passive. Uh, we've got our charcoal barrel, our engineer's workbench, our metal workbench, our weapons workbench, our carpentry. And for those of you that have noticed and those of you that haven't noticed, the front of the storage is different. That's because apparently when you first try to put them down, they spawn with the front facing away from you for some reason. And I didn't realize that when I did it downstairs and forgot it from the last time I played. So I turned them around the right direction and they actually have labels on them. You can just edit this, for example, and go, well, if I can get my caps lock off, general uh, crafting, which is what this is. And there you go. General crafting. Here, let me turn off my light so I'm not blowing the exposure, exposure out. But anyway, we've got our oven over here. Originally, I had that single uh, storage up here, but it hardly didn't hold anything, and food, surprisingly, is heavy. Uh, so I, put a, I moved it and put a double over here. So this is all of our food and our water. Uh, this is our, our potatoes. Oh, by the way, speaking of potatoes, also... I'm really unsatisfied with how the light uh, efficiency is at night. I mean, I understand there's not a generator or anything like that, but check this out. At night, it's pretty dark in these corners, which means that you would really have to use four lights. And then you can't use these cool panoramic roofs because the lights don't go on the panoramic roofs. And there are no wall lights. So, yeah, maybe developer in an update, <laughs> we could get something to address that. I would I would love to see some wall lights. That would work out perfect. I wouldn't mind spending the material. I just I would just rather have it. But anyway, during the day, it looks really, really nice. And obviously, we won't be up at night that much. Speaking of night, we're going to go on and sleep. I've still got stuff that I want to do for building. And the way that I plan on cutting this up, it should not be like an hours long episode like it's it is right now in recording so uh anyway i'm gonna go to sleep and i'll see you in the morning and you know what in real life i went and got me a cup of coffee man it is good nice cup of dark roast mm. okay so um yeah see during the day it's not really bad i can turn off my light everything's copacetic up in here so Anyway, uh, so this is going to be crafting and storage up here. I think this is enough storage for now. Uh, we've used a considerable amount of resources just building all of this. There is another table I want to make, and I would like to make this into a living area. I believe that we have enough that we can splurge um, for a little material. Now, not really sure what I'm going to do with this yet. If we get enough materials I might do a huge farm in here just for the sake of doing one obviously we don't need food all right so we're gonna make a wooden table a wooden sofa 
a wooden floor lamp, a wooden table lamp, make three glass bottles so that we can make a pharmacist table. Not bad. Not bad at all. Getting a little bit more comfy in here. The idea is that we can, you know, sit here and look out the window and make us a little chair. This is where we can work on stuff over here. Maybe write our journal about all our time on the train. A few more things I want to build. And look at that. A fireplace ready to go. And the nice thing about the fireplace is that you can burn stuff in it that you no longer need. So let's get rid of all these papers. Keep the, the records and all these broken tools. We're just going to throw them in there. See how the, the time goes up as we throw stuff in there? And we're going to light the fire and what could be nicer? Sit on a nice couch by a crackling fire. Turn on the switch. Read a good book. Drink a frothy brew. Uh, well, not that we have any frothy brews, but yeah. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is a parlor. If I ever saw one. Let's grab us some random record. Uh, so open. Oh, record storage. So let's get... All of these. And Q to select track. It's a new day. Welcome. Soft jazz with Crane Brain. Welcome to the Sidetrack Lounge, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing today? Nice to see you again over there, Billy. Everybody just kick back. We're going to have a chill ride tonight. Don't worry about punching those tickets. You already got a ride down the track tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now that's what I call a lounge. There we go. All right, guys, we're going to leave it here. We've done a bunch, a bunch of building. Um, we have very little material left. <laughs> I mean, I have seriously spent some material here. I mean, we do have five electrical parts, but we're down to seven scrap out of, what, 80? And 31 wood out of, I think, think a hundred well sorry 36 wood out of 129 oh man that just hurts my heart to even like say that but uh also i have this random table that i made too many of i haven't figured out where i'm gonna put it yet but we'll figure out something anyway hope you guys have a great day remember if you like what you see if you like what you saw if you want to come back and feel the cool jazz sounds of the Sidetrack Lounge, just hit that big red subscribe button, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you next time on KTRN with the sweet sounds of jazz.